This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Leah Hicks back with me. You're, with, you're the president of the Smith Falls and District Arts and Culture Council. Welcome back. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Well, the last time you were actually here in the building too, so it was pre-COVID and uh, it's like we were talking before we started taping. Your council wants to start up right where it left off before COVID too. Absolutely. We're, we're gung-ho. We have a lot of plans to execute and a lot of promising uh, adventures in the near future. So how long has the council been around for? for? Oh, goodness me. I think it, the first year was 2011. So 2011. So yeah, you're uh, 10, 11 years now. Yeah, 11 years. Have you, been, this, have you been there since the beginning too? I have. Yeah. I have. I yeah, absolutely, so. absolutely. I've, I've uh, watched it grow and change and fluctuate from members and different uh, presidents. And it's been a, a great learning experience for all of us. So you're an artist yourself too. What kind of art do you do? Oh, I'm a, I'm a 2D sculpture artist. I, I do um, kind of use uh, the elements and, and principles of art and apply them to paint to canvas and I've learned that from college, the colleges I've taken, the courses I've taken, like life drawing and uh, I took a course in uh, in graphic design which really helped me uh, learn about and then I took oil painting and everything to learn about color and I, le I learned everything I've learned I've, I, to, to this point. And it's progressing also. And I, I really love painting because it's forever changing. It's always different every time I get to do a piece and it's so exciting for the, for the outcome of it. And I love to show it and I love the responses I get from it. And you've been busy yourself uh, during COVID. I've seen you've had exhibits. You've been, I believe in Montreal too. And Oh, absolutely. I was in Montreal. I've had uh, been with Vogue magazine and uh, Toronto, and I actually had a show in Chicago too. So it, it's been all done uh, through COVID, and it's it's been great. Oh, excellent. Okay, so I, I've noticed that on your Facebook page, you've been quite busy. But the council, you sort of had to put that on the back burner while uh, COVID was going on, but now you're starting it up again. You've got a, a great event. You've got a fundraiser going on. Uh, yeah, we have an uh, awesome fundraiser. And it's actually an art painting fundraiser, and and it's uh, we have ten or twelve pieces, and it, everybody bids on them. And our goal, we're almost halfway at our goal, and it, it's really exciting. Now it started, I believe, March twenty eighth, so just recently too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It, goes, it goes until the twelfth of April, I believe. And the link is on on our website, and it's on our Facebook page. So it's easy to find, it's easy to share, it's easy to look at, and it's really, it's really good for the, for the council and for the town. And you've got, uh, you've got some art pieces in it yourself. Jackie Coldry's got some in there. Yeah, absolutely. And we have a couple prints by my uh, MC Escher and uh, Kirsted and a couple other paintings, some old, old, painting one painting we have there is probably about 150 years old wow wow that's awesome that's awesome now people can uh, make bids on this yeah it's actually it, it, we only go by five dollar in increments so you're not spending an arm or leg like our goal is to make a minimum of four hundred dollars so one of the the pieces is only at like 45 dollars or even five dollars so it's it's for everybody. If you want to just contri contribute just a little bit to get a gorgeous piece of art, it's a it's a great fund fundraiser for it. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, there's some beautiful pieces in there. I was checking it out. You've got some great uh, items in there, so I encourage people to take a look at it and uh, place a bid for sure, for sure. Now, pre-COVID, I used to see you know, the the Smith Falls uh, and District Arts and Culture um, Council at many different events. You'd have booths set up. You'd have art exhibits and everything like that. And uh, so what's it look like now for you? You've got some uh, actually really exciting. We're going to be having a, uh, a, a spring uh, market and we're going to be calling for vendors um, within the next couple of weeks, but it should be great. It's going to be at the, uh, the, um, the water tower again. And uh, so people can just take their, go for a stroll and go see the artisans and artists. And it's a great community. It really is, you know, and when we talk about, you know, 
arts and culture. It's so much more than just painting. Sometimes people think art is painting, uh, and it's not. It's, it, we've got jewelry, we've got dance, we've got music, everything. Absolutely, absolutely. It, 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 it appeals to everybody at every age. So how many members have you got on your council? Uh, right now, we actually only have about 20. Only about 20? Wow. Well, that's, that's a good amount, but we would like to, let, 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 uh, we'd like to uh, uh, get that to grow. And how so, do you become involved? Uh, you come involved by actually going to our website, you know, smithfeldsarts.ca. And um, you can just send us an email and saying, I would like to join us. That's only $20 for, uh, for a membership, for a yearly membership. And uh, it's pretty easy to sign up. Excellent, excellent. Oh, I, I look forward to seeing uh, at this exhibit too, uh, underneath the water tower too, outside events. Those are beautiful. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be a beautiful day. Have you got a, a date for that one? Um, it's going to be uh, the first week of June. First week of June. Awesome, awesome. Now you've got an art exhibit going up at Town Hall? Oh, I do actually. Yep. Yeah. I have my my uh, my art hanging up there and, uh, and it'll be changing uh, quarterly every few months and so the next person will be in june and we're going to be having a list of people who would like to show so um it's it's great it's great exposure for people and for art and it, it really uh brings life to the town to the hall it really does, you know, there's so many people going through there too and to show off some of our, our local artists, it, it's wonderful. It's wonderful that they participate and and, uh, and let, the, let the painting show up there. It really is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now you have another um, uh, fundraiser. I, I believe you're gonna have it in the fall this year, but you're gonna be collecting bowls now? Oh, we are, we're having a fill a bowl, which is we've had for years now and it's always been very successful. We get, uh, potters local potters and we get their bowls and then there's uh probably about six or eight different restaurants in the town who uh, donate soups for it and it's fillable so it's pretty much all you can eat and you can try the different soups and it's a really great event and they're, they're beautiful homemade bowls too and there there's no two are the same pretty much either <laughs> oh they're just wonderful they're keepsakes they really are, and a lot of people like these fill a bowl events because they come and they get a bowl at each one, and then they they end up having a collection at home of their own. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. That's right, that's right. So let's go back and talk about this auction. How do people get involved? How do people, you know, make a bid? Uh, with well, the auction, like simply, you just have to press on the link and then put your email address and um, and bang, put in your bid, and then if you win, then it's yours, and the money goes to. Uh, the council. And the last day to bid is April 12th, I believe? Yes. April 12th. So it's going on right now. It's go going on until April 12th. I, I found it on the, uh, your not your website, um, your Facebook page. Right. And uh, you have a website as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. It's misspelledarts.com. And uh, you, well, please share it, get the word out. And the more, more people that can see it, the better. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, social media is a wonderful uh, outlet for these sort of things. So yeah, share, press like and, and share. <laughs> for, for sure. sure. For sure. Well, this is awesome. So we've got a, a, a art auction going on. We've got a, an artisan uh, exhibit going on first week of June. Looking forward to that. That's going to be yeah. outside. And if you go through Town Hall, you'll see some local uh, artists displayed up there too. Yes, it's definitely a good look, a good, a good to see, a good look to see, good, good to go and see it. Excellent, excellent. And you're looking for more members to be on the council, so just get a hold of you. Absolutely, yes, yeah, thank you. Perfect, perfect. I've got Leah Hicks here, president of our Smith Falls and District Arts and Culture Council. Thanks for joining us. Maybe we'll talk real soon before the, the, artisan, the art exhibit in June.